SATO starts with a variety of blended guitar parts for an eerie sounding clean intro. When the song kicks in, Randy unloads one of his most intricate rhythm guitar parts. Although the main structure is repeated several times, we are able to witness just how brilliant Randy was as each section is repeated with a different approach and several intricate fills. After a musical break, Randy takes one of his longest recorded solos, which has us playing all over the guitar neck, often countering with ascending passages and descending melody. The intro to SATO follows the chord progression E minor, C major 7, A sus 2, and D sus 2. And as the intro progressed, the D modulates to a B minor form, which bridges to the verse of the song. The intro sounds very complex because there are several guitar parts overdubbed to different guitar tracks and blended in and out with each other. First, the basic structure would be the chords themselves, starting with E minor. Strings one, two, and three are open. Play the fourth string second fret with the middle, fifth string second with the index, and the sixth string is open. For the basic structure, strum E minor, then pick strings one, two, then one. Switch to C major seven, strings one, two, and three are open. I keep my middle finger on the fourth string second fret and add my ring finger to the fifth string third fret. This allows a quick change from the E minor. Strum the C major seven, then pick strings one, two, and one. Next is A sus two, Strings one and two are open. Third string, second fret is held with the middle. Fourth string, second fret is held with the index and the fifth string is open. Strum and pick strings one, two, and one. To quickly change to the next chord, D sus two, the fourth string is open. Leave your middle finger on the third string, second fret and add your ring to the second string, third fret and the first string is open. Strum, then pick strings one, two, and one. That's the basic structure. Let's run through it once at a practice tempo, then we'll learn some of the overdub guitar parts. With so many overlapping and intertwined guitar parts being mixed in during the intro, it's difficult to tell exactly what is being played. Here's an approximation of what Randy played over the chord changes and with the other instruments and effects. For the E minor, play the fourth string second fret with the index to the third string open, then the fourth string fourth fret with the ring, then second fret. For C, play the 5th string 3rd fret, followed by the open 2nd string, open 3rd, then 2nd string again. For A, play the 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd string open, then 2nd, to the 2nd string 3rd fret, letting all notes ring out as long as possible. The transition from D to B starts on the 4th string 4th fret with the ring, to the 3rd string open, 2nd fret pull to open, and on the 4th string 2nd. A higher pitched guitar can be heard as well. After the E bass note is played, walk down on the 3rd string 12 with the pinky, 11 with the ring, to 9 with the index. Barring the 9th fret to the 4th string, Pick strings three, four, three over the C major seven chord. Then add the second string, 10 with the middle, and you have an A chord, which after the bass note is sounded by picking strings three, two, and one. 
and end with the same E walk down over a D bass note on the third string, 12, 11, 9. A lower pitch guitar variation plays the low E, then a walk down on the fourth string, 5, 4, 2. Play a C bass note on the fifth string, third fret with the index, then third string, 4 with the middle, and fourth string, 5 with the ring. Switch to the A bass note, then fourth string, second, third string, second, and second string, third, letting all notes ring out for an A sus4. Then end with a B minor riff, fifth string, second fret to the fourth string open, and walk down on the sixth string, three, two. Let's practice phrase two at a slow tempo, then we'll put one and two together at a faster pace. Phrase 3 introduces the basic structure for the verse and most repeated guitar part. It is E5 to C5, A5, and B5. The E5 is on the 5th string 7 with the index, 4th string 9 with the ring, and 3rd string 9 with the pinky. Randy also adds the open 1st and 2nd string drone notes along with this, often switching between them. So we have E5 and E5 drone. Move the same fingering down to the fifth string third fret, and you have C5. Again, this is played with fretted notes, as well as adding the first and second string for a C5 drone. Again, that's C5, C5 drone. Drop down to the open A, fifth string open, fourth string second and third string second, Strumming just these three strings, we have A5, we're adding the open strings for an A5 drone. Then we move back up to a fretted B5, fifth string second fret, fourth and third string fourth fret. The B5 is not played with open strings. Instead, we add an end tag playing the fifth string open, second string pull to open, to the sixth string third fret with a slight bend, then 2nd fret with vibrato. Here's a practice run of the chord structure with a slow tempo. During SATO, Randy almost always played a different repetition for the verse. The song starts out with a pick slide, then pull offs on the sixth string three, two, open. Next is the E5, then E5 drone, then double palm mutes on the sixth string open, then strum the E5 drone, pause and strum again. Palm mute the 5th string 7, 
then drop down to 5, then to C5, and C5 drone, palm mute the 5th string 3rd fret twice, that's a C note, then two more C5 drones. To 5th string 3, 2, pull to open, then play A5, A5 drone, two palm muted open A bass notes, strum A5 drone, pause and strum twice, then strum only the first and second strings twice. Play a single B5, then the walk down riff, fifth string open, two pull to open, six string three with a slight bend, and two with vibrato. Phrase 5 comes in with a single open 6 string palm muted lead in note, then the E5 drone, and strings 1 and 2 by themselves, followed by a riff on the 5th string 7 with the index, 10 with the pinky, pull the 9 with the ring, to 7 with vibrato. Down to the 5th fret, then C5, C5 drone, then the 5th string 3rd fret to 4th string, 5th with the ring, pull to 4 held by the middle, back to 5 with vibrato. Switch to A5, A5 drone, two A bass notes, strum A5 drone twice, then just the first and second strings, switch to B, then walk down, this time hammering the fifth string open to two, pull off to open, sixth string three to two with vibrato. Since we'll be repeating this progression often during this lesson, we'll start out slow and build up speed as we progress. Here's phrases four and five combined with a medium tempo. The chorus comes in with a full open G5. First string, third fret with the pinky. Second string, third fret with the ring. Third and fourth strings are open. The fifth string is muted with the bottom of the middle finger, which is holding the sixth string, third fret. Strum and hold. Next is a B flat major chord. Play the fifth string, first fret with the index and bar strings four, three, and two with the ring on the third fret. Strum strings five through two, and drop down to an A major. Fifth string is open, and bar strings four, three, and two on the second fret. Strum and hold. The fourth chord is an open C5. Second string first fret, third string is open. Mute the fourth string, and hold the fifth string third fret with the ring. Let this ring out and grab the highest fret on the guitar and slide down the neck. These chords repeat, but in place of the C5, play an open G5 chord on strings 3 and 4. 
Later in the song, this chorus is repeated and Randy engages the wah pedal to give these chords more depth. After the chorus, Randy elaborates on the made chord structure, playing E5, E5 drone, drop down to the 5th string 5th fret, pick and slide up to 7. Next is a higher pitched G5 on the 3rd string 7 with the index, 2nd string 8 with the middle, and 1st string 10 with the pinky. Strum twice, and slide down the neck. Play C5, then C5 drone, then repeat the 5th string 5 slide to 7, G5, G5 slide down the neck. Next is A5, A5 drone, 3 palm mutes on the open A, A5 drone, B5, and the walk down. Phrase 8 uses the same E and C chords with riffs, which we learned earlier. But it has a cool end tag playing the first and second strings open and places the A with a quick mute. This is played four times. Then the open notes are played again, adding the third string second fret with artificial harmonic and a bar dip in return. Start phrase 9 with an open E, then E5, then the 4th string 7 hammer to 9, skip to 2nd string 8, pull off to 7, and end on 3rd string 9. For the C rhythm, play a C bass note, then C5, sliding your ring finger up to the 4th string 9. Skip to the 2nd string 8, pull to 7, and end on the 3rd string 9. Next, play an A rhythm, followed by B5 and the descending riff. Just before the solo, there's a musical break playing two B5 power chords, 
Then release pressure and strum three times. Repeat this. Then switch to an open E5, sixth string open with the fifth string two, strum twice, then play the sixth string open, hammer to four, to fifth string two, and two A5s, strumming the fifth and fourth strings only. Then pull off on the fifth string, four, two, open. And repeat, double B5, triple pick the rake notes, Repeat B5, break, E5, walk up to B, then A5, then walk down. And this repeats two more times. Then you play a bar on the second fret, picking the sixth string, then the first and second strings together. Then the second string, second fret by itself. Next is D5 followed up with the first string open. The solo kicks off in phrase 11. It starts with a quick lead in note, palm muted on the 6th string 12th fret, then move your index up to the 14, 16 with the ring, to 5th string 14, 16, then 4th string 14, 16. Lightly mute up to here, and then lift the palm mute and play the 3rd string 14, 16, well 14 slide to 16 and play 18 with the ring finger to the second string 17 with the index hammer to 19 to first string 17 with the index then down to 16 and slide down the neck there's another guitar playing this in a lower position as well as a similar version in the high position which we'll learn a little bit later for now here's a slow practice run Phrase 12 starts out on the 3rd string 11 with a ring finger bend to 2nd string 9 with the index, barring to the 1st string 9, back to the 2nd string 12 with a bend, vibrato, and release. Then pull off to 9, 10 pull off to 9, to 3rd string 12, and 2nd string 9, to 3rd string 11, pull to 9. We start off with the same three notes for phrase 13, 11th fret bend to the bar 9, 9, skip back to the 3rd string 11 and pull to 9, then 4th string 11, 9, and go back and forth between the 5th string 11, 4th string 9, back to 11, then 9, then play artificial harmonics on the 3rd string walking down from 9, 8, 7, 6, and five. Phrase 14 starts off on the third string four, hammer to six, then artificial harmonics on the third string five, pull to four, five pull to four. Next is the third string six with artificial harmonics and a big one and a half step bend and partial release. Do that three times and then a full release then to third string four, six, second string four, five, four to third string six, 
and four. Phrase 15 starts off with artificial harmonics on the second string in seven with the pinky, then four, five, four, to third string, six, four, six, four, to fourth string, seven with the pinky, six, four, then the fifth string, seven, six, hammer to seven, pull off to six, to four, and back to six. Next is phrase 16, starting with a group of palmuta notes on the third string, six, pull to four, back to six, to second string four, back to third string six, to second string four, five, four, five, seven, five, then lift the palm, place seven, and slide to nine, seven with the index, stretch to nine with the middle, and slide up to 14, to first string, 12, 15, then 14 with vibrato. Phrase 17 drops down to the fifth string, seventh fret, and ascends to 9, slide to 11, to 4th string 9, 9 again, hammer on to 11, to 3rd string 9, 11 slide to 13, to 2nd string 12 with the index, stretch up to 1st string 17, pick 4 times, and pull off to 16, pick 2 more times, to second string 17 and 15 with vibrato. Start phrase 18 on the third string 16 with the ring, to second string 14 with the index, middle to 15 and pick four times, pulling off to 14, repeat the third string 16, pick the second string 15, four times, drop down to 14, 12, back to 14, 14 with the bend, release and pull off to 12, and end on the third string 13 with vibrato. Drop down to the 5th string for phrase 19 and play an ascending scale run starting on the 9th fret, hammer to 11, to the 4th string 9, 12 with the ring, slide to 11, then 9, to the 3rd string 12, slide to 11, then 9, back to 11 with a bend, to 2nd string 9, to 1st string 9, and End with hammer-ons and pull-offs on the second string, 12, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, slide to 12. To contrast the previous ascending run, phrase 20 descends from the first string 19. Pick a total of four times, pause, pick once, pick twice and pull off to 17, drop down to 16, then pull 17 to 16, and end on the second string 17. 
play the first string 16, 17 on the second string, then third string 16, second string 17 with the ring, to third string 14 with the index, then drop down to 13 and end with vibrato. Phrase 21 comes in with explosive bends on the second string 18 with the ring finger to the first string 15 with the index. Play this a total of seven times. Then second string 18, 15, third string 17 bend to second string 15, first string 15, to second string 18 pull to 15, to first string 18 with a bend and release. Next is phrase 22, starting on the first string 15, to second string 18, pull to 15. Then double note patterns with bends, holding the second string 18 with the ring, add the third string 17, strum both notes, and bend the third string. Pick 18 by itself, then both notes and bend 17 again. Next is third string 15, to fourth string 17, then double notes on strings 2 and 3, 15th fret, then 3rd string 15 to 4th string 17. Next, double up on the 2nd and 3rd strings 15, then a single 4th string 17. Play again, this time moving your index up to play the 4th string 17th fret, putting you in position to skip to the 1st string 20 with the ring finger bend, then drop down to 19. Ending the solo with phrase 23, bend the third string 17 with the ring to second string 15, first string 15, then second string 18, pull to 15, back to third string 17, second string 15, then a walk down from the third string 17, 15, fourth string 17, 15, and the fifth string's a little different, 17, 16, 15, slide to 13, hammer to 15, with a bend, release, pull off to 13, bend, and slide down the neck.
At the end of the solo, repeat the musical break that we learned in phrase 10 and 11, but with a slight variation. Double up on the B5, then add a pick slide down the neck. There's also a change up in the E5 to A5 progression. Strum E5 twice, then rather than walking up, pull off from the sixth string four, two, open, and move to A5. The rest of this section is the same. When you get to the second fret chord variation, play the sixth string, then the first and second strings, then add the D5, adding the first string open, then the second string third fret this time, then a staccato open E5, that's the open sixth string, 5th and 4th string 2nd fret, just strum it and quickly mute it. Here's an alternate way to play phrase 11. Starting on the 6th string, hammer 14 to 16, 5th string 14 to 16, 4th string, 3rd string. On the 2nd string, hammer 14 to 17, then pick the notes on the 1st string, 14, 17, 16, down to 14, and end on the second string 17. An overdub guitar track plays the same pattern an octave lower, starting on the sixth string second fret. The last verse of the song has some really cool whammy bar effects. Coming out of the A rhythm, in place of a B, play the third string, fourth fret, with artificial harmonics. Rapidly dipping the bar, then slightly bend the string while dipping and returning the bar. Next is E5, then first and second string is open, then a fifth fret harmonic on the third string with a whammy bar dip and return. Double up on C5, then repeat the fifth fret harmonic. A5, first and second strings open, a single open A note. Back to the first and second strings open. Then the third string seventh fret with artificial harmonics and a bar dive. Back to E5, E5 drone. Then an aggressive slide down the fifth and sixth strings, hammer to the 19th fret, and slide down the neck. Double up on C5 then the same slide down the neck. An A rhythm. And then a descending scale run with artificial harmonics on the third string, four, two, open, fourth string, four, two, open, fifth string, three, two, open, to the sixth string, three, with a slight bend.
The outro is very similar to phrase one. The only noticeable difference in the acoustic or clean guitar parts is on the E minor. Strum the chord, then play the first string second fret, then open. The rest of the chords follow the same strumming and picking pattern. Our last section is phrase 27 which is a distorted guitar that overdubs the acoustic outro. Play an open E5 to C5, A5, then D5. This repeats several times. Then to end, move up to the seventh fret E5 and strum twice and mute. And this repeats as the song fades.